So, anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely love Greek mythology and anything to do with it. Heck, it's one of the reasons I love the God of War series. I know it's really the sheer variety of amazing characters, monsters, and a pantheon of gods that makes games based on the stories so interesting. So yeah, Greek mythology is known to be ripe full of great epic battles, gods, beasts, and men who fight for supremacy, mm. and of course, the absolute arsenal that these heroes, gods, and villains wield is staggering. Mm. From enchanted armor and weapons to elemental power, how could the games not be made from that subject matter? Which is why I and you and all of you mm -hmm. love Hades the game so much. This dungeon crawling, top side roguelike game was brilliant to play. All right, one more time. You shall never reach the surface. Zagreus, if I'm saying that right. Zagreus. Zagreus, <laughs> the son of Hades, and essentially we follow the history of his attempts to find his origins and do what no other being has ever done before, fight his way out of hell. Yes, yes. Well, now that his story is done, and I highly recommend that you try the game for the fun and the voice acting alone, Supergiant has announced that Hades 2 is coming soon. So, here's a look at what's coming up with Hades 2. for you to make a better future for us all. The least I can do is light your way down. About ready to give in? No, I was born for this. You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Vengeance for your family awaits you. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Wait for me, father. I'll be there soon. As we can see, we have a new main character, and from what we can tell, this is Melanoi, Zagreus's sister. Mm -hmm. There's not much else offered about what's happening in the game in terms of plot, but the trailer indicates a new enemy arrives, and Melanoi will be the one to take her down. Mm. Yep. Now, we can only assume that the person that she fights in the trailer is her trainer, of course, and I suspect I really suspect that this is the deity Hecate or Hecate. Or oh, Hecate. Hecate. No, I think Hecate. Where you're from. <laughs> so she's the goddess of magic and spells, and also the full moon being such a staple in the scenes, we can also use this as another reference to Hecate, as she is symbolized by the moon and also carries a torch. See the torch? Yeah, that's the torch, yeah. 
So, and she can also take three forms. So, yeah, it's got to be Hecate or Hecate. Oh, Hecate. Wherever you're from and however you pronounce H-E-C-A-T-E. -E. We're not the Greek scholars. We, we play video games. We're here to play the game. I'll yeah. say it with my fingers. <laughs> yes. Anyway, from the gameplay, you can tell it's fast-paced. We focus on strategy in mm. using your boons offered to you by various gods, just as with the first game. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure there will be a few differences... Hopefully not too many, but mm -hmm. Hades Part 1 was such a great game. I'm looking forward to how amazing the sequel will be. I'm mm -hmm. absolutely excited about this new Hades installment. And also, I would like to know a little bit more about Melanoi as well. Hades as a character, Zagreus as a character, was just really well and very fleshed out. Mm -hmm. uh, the story was so great. I loved that first game so much. And there was a lot of complexity in such a simple and straightforward way but yo melanoi looking pretty nice right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a gamer girl yeah i also agree to her perfect form mm -hmm. from all that wonderful training yes yes yeah yes we do <coughs> like that very yeah, much and the dna her mom and her dad giving her some good boons hey we're all about the boons, boons. yeah those boons though those <laughs> boons though <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's it for us right now, guys. Please play the first one. It was excellent. And stay tuned for some more Game of Bible. We'll be back.